Sorry, Rubber Soul fans, you will not be getting a Beatles album box set in 2023. Before you get red in the face or start feeling blue, let's talk about what's on the way instead. That's coming up next on Track by Track. Hey everybody, my name's Kyle, and this is Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. Thanks for tuning in today, and if this is your first time here, please take a moment to hit subscribe so you won't miss future reviews and more. Since 2017, Beatles fans have enjoyed an annual tradition of an elaborate super deluxe edition being released of one of the band's iconic albums. It all started with a 50th anniversary release of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and then continued annually with The White Album, Abbey Road, and then, after a year off for the pandemic, let it be in 2021. Last year's shift backwards in the Beatles timeline for the Revolver release left many of us wondering if that was indicative of the intended path for future releases, making a super deluxe set for Rubber Soul the obvious next expectation. But if all the signs and rumors turn out to be true, it is looking like 2023 will not see a new super deluxe edition of Rubber Soul or any of the pre-Revolver albums. Instead, what is looking more and more likely is that we'll see new versions of the iconic Red and Blue Greatest Hits albums, which are in fact celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. There's widespread speculation, some of it claiming to come from sources with inside info, that the songs on the albums will be remixed using the same AI-based technology used for the Revolver remix. That seems like a no-brainer, and I'd be shocked if it were not true. There's also rumors that the track list will be expanded on both volumes, augmenting the original collections with more great music from the Beatles catalog. Again, this makes complete sense, especially for the Red Album, which contains no George Harrison songs. At the very least, I'd expect to see Taxman added to the track list. This probably also means we'll see sets increase from two discs to three discs each. That makes sense for vinyl, of course, but I'd bet the 2023 track list for both volumes would end up fitting comfortably on two double CD sets. After all, the Red Album would have fit on a single disc before, so Three discs for that time period of 1962 to 1966 would probably be unnecessarily, but unsurprisingly, excessive. But here's where things get interesting. We all heard the news that there's a brand new Beatles song being created by extracting John Lennon's and George Harrison's parts from some previously unreleased demos or outtakes, and combining those with new recordings from Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. Nothing specific about that track has been announced, but everyone expects it will be a song called Now and Then, which is a known Lennon demo and a song that Harrison likely added guitar and vocals to during the anthology sessions that produced Free as a Bird and Real Love. The song was abandoned at that time because the quality of Lennon's demo recording was too low quality, but using modern AI technology, they've now been able to polish up shall we say, that recording, to make it finally usable in 2023. So the question has been, how will they release the song? It will obviously be available for streaming, but certainly there will be a physical release, right? But how do you justify putting out an entire CD or LP for just one song? Enter the Red and Blue Collections. Rumor has it the new song will be added to the expanded version of the Blue Album, which, appropriately, covers the band's later period. Once again, I think this makes complete sense. And as much as I'd like to see Rubber Soul or another studio album released this year, a re-release of the Red and Blue collections do seem like the perfect vehicle for this new song. On top of that, they've long been considered the definitive compilations of the Fab Four's music and are perhaps as instantly recognizable as some of the group's most iconic studio albums. But let's keep it real here. There's simply no way the Beatles' marketing machine is going to expend resources to promote a Red and Blue album's re-release like this and a super deluxe edition of an album like Rubber Soul, both in the second half of this year. Even though you and I may be hardcore fans that would clamor for box sets of Rubber Soul, Help, or a restored Star Club live album, let's not fool ourselves about what would be more popular. There's no doubt in my mind that new Red and Blue album reissues, especially expanded and including a new song, would far outsell any of the Beatles' studio albums yet to be given the deluxe treatment. 
Speaking of deluxe treatment, let me also speculate that while all signs point to separate releases of the red and blue albums, we should also expect to see some sort of deluxe box set featuring both volumes, along with additional bonus material. Perhaps a vinyl set with six LPs for the red and blue albums, a seventh LP with additional songs, maybe an exclusive seven-inch single of the new song now and then, Throw in a new book, posters of the two covers, and perhaps a few more swag items, and this will be the best representation of the full scope of the Beatles' career ever released. Now, obviously, there's been no official announcement about the Red and Blue albums yet, but historically, those announcements have come in August, so that news is likely imminent. Once the details are revealed, including the release date, I'll do a full breakdown right here on Track by Track. But unfortunately, what I'm pretty sure we won't be breaking down in 2023 is Rubber Soul or any other studio album box set. I'd be happy to be wrong about that, but I won't be. But what about you? Do you hope I'm wrong? Or are you happy about the prospects of remixed and expanded versions of the Red and Blue albums coming out? Do you think this is the best way to get the new song out there? Or do you have other ideas about how Now and Then should be physically released? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Once again, my name's Kyle, and this has been Track by Track. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, plus check out some of these other videos below that I think you might also enjoy. And of course, be sure to click subscribe, because true music fans always want new releases the day they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.